The rain's so loud. I wonder if the camera's picking it up. Quite heavy rain. Looking at it, not being in it, that's slightly less fun. <laughs> so, you have an audience. I'm going to turn off the camera. The whole point was so that we could actually talk. No, right? no, it, it's fine. It's weird, but it's all right. It's just strange to know that there's people watching that care about my family, people that have never met Tom. <laughs> Thank you. And thank you, Will, for the card. Tom really appreciated it. Proud of you for doing this. I know it must be difficult. It, it gets easier. Anyway, Tom. Yes, Tom. Uh, things are looking up. The doctor's pretty optimistic. We've been moving stuff into his hospital room. Frankie's idea to make it look more homely. I don't know. I just thought we'd be more comfortable with all his actual stuff, like his posters around him, rather than those horrible blank hospital walls. <laughs> I'm sure Tom really appreciates it. You've been great this week. We're all, all really grateful. Well, you've kept us sane. <laughs> you've kept Mum sane. I know you don't hear it enough around here, but we all really appreciate you. I really appreciate you. <laughs> I um, don't know what I'd have done this week if, uh, if you hadn't been here. Come here. I know what you need. I can't remember the last time we did it. I think this is the first thought of the year. Yeah, well, we've both been busy, haven't we? Yeah. Do you remember the last one we did? <laughs> Everyone went away for the weekend and we had the living room to ourselves. It was, uh, it was quite epic. And then Norris found us. <laughs> it was the... Oh! 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 It was higher. Oh! <laughs> Frankie. Mm. I'm sorry. For what? Just for the past few months. I mean, I've been so wrapped up in my own stuff, I've basically completely ignored you. That's all right. I mean, you were starting a new school and everything. It's, it's not all right. I didn't, I didn't even bother calling you whilst you were in Portsmouth. I, sh I should have driven down. I should have seen you. But no. <laughs> I feel like the worst friend ever. Well, you were busy. It would have been selfish of me to expect you to take time out of your schedule. <laughs> it wouldn't have been selfish, Frankie. You're my friend. You're my best friend. I should have made time for you. And I didn't. So this is me formally apologising. <laughs> this is me on camera formally apologising. I... I am sorry. This is me on camera <laughs> formally accepting <laughs> your apology. <laughs> You're too good for us. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> I don't think I deserve it, but... Everyone deserves a second chance. So I hear. What does that mean? I heard about who came down to visit whilst you're in Portsmouth. Henry. Yes, Henry. Do we have to? No, if, if you don't want to talk about it. Portsmouth was intense. I went down there to clear my head and then Henry appeared and everything just became a lot more confusing. I don't know. I don't think it was love. I, I, I mean, I just wish it never would have worked between us. Why not? <laughs> Lots of reasons, Ed. The difference between us is too great. Far too great. And I don't know. Lots of other stuff. Don't make me explain. When I saw you two together, I I thought it looked like he would make you happy. I know that he would make you happy. And you, <laughs> well, you would make him everything. It's not my responsibility to make Henry Crawford a better person. I know. It's just... I think your impression had a good influence on him. 
Did you see much of Henry in London? A bit. I mean, he's not as he was when he was with you. Mm. He is. He's changed. I mean, I can't really comment. I don't know him properly. I mean, I don't think anyone knows him properly, except Mary. But, mm. you know. He was pretty busy. I mean, you know, with the Everingham and all that. <laughs> he's got a he's got a new project. I don't know if you've heard the the Southerton. <laughs> yep. Rory's mum is considering hiring the Crawfords. That's odd. Yes, it's really odd. I mean you know what Rory's mum's tastes are like. She's permanently stuck in the eighties. I think I heard Rhea mention something about a a pelmet. Um Henry said that he didn't see much of the Rushworths. Oh, wouldn't surprise me if Rory didn't know. I mean, he's not exactly at the epicentre of the Southerton business. Yeah. <laughs> well, how are the Rushworths, anyway? Um, yeah, they seem okay. Just okay? Not Smog Face Central? No, not really, no. Oh, what's happened? Nothing, it's just, um, they seemed a bit off when I was there last. So. I don't know. I'm probably thinking too much into it. It's just they didn't seem as... Oh, Rhea and Rory when I saw them. Hmm. It's probably just a spat. I mean, this is the first time they've lived together properly, isn't it? Rory probably just put the pesto on the wrong fridge shelf or <laughs> something. I don't know. I'm sure they'll work it out. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure they'll be fine. I'm just... I'm worried. Mm. Well, what if everyone's saying that they rushed into marriage too quickly? I'm just worried that Rhea feels like she is going to regret her choices. She just wanted to be happy? Hmm. Yeah. I'm sure they'll sort it out. I think they just need to talk, really. Yeah. Speaking of... Mary's videos. No, no. Can we just talk about other people's problems, please? They're a lot more easier to solve. She's not a problem to be solved, Ed. Oh, I know. Have you called her? Just kill me now. I'll make it easy for you. Ed. Mm. Ed. No, right, no, I haven't called her. It's been a week, Ed. I know. I'm a terrible human being. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. I just... I don't have anything to say. That's not, that's not really an excuse. I just... There's been a, a lot of... There's been a lot of stuff going on. Well, that's true, but also not really an excuse. I'm just very aware that I'll get one chance, and if I get it wrong, then I'll ruin it. I'll ruin everything. You you can't just keep thinking it off, though. You're going to have to call her at some point. Look, just please don't lecture me. I'm getting enough of that from Mary. Right. Has she spoken to you at all? I mean, no, don't answer that. I, I don't really want to know. You're not... You're not meant to be in charge of managing our relationship. She bloody well hope not. <laughs> she's just... Ever since we moved to London, she's... different. Like, Henry, I don't know whether she's... more of herself in London or... or less. I mean, I... I do love her, but... I don't know. Suffice to say, things, things could be better. I just, Frankie, how can I talk to her about those videos? Whenever she says something harsh or ridiculous, I just, I just laugh it off or pretend she didn't say it. But this, what she said about Tom, it, it hurt. It, it really hurt. And more than that, she did it in public. Just how 
flippant is that? I mean, she clearly doesn't care about how any of us were going to feel. I wish I didn't know you'd be watching. I don't think that quite justifies it. I mean, I... I keep pushing this impression of a person onto her, and that's just not... It's not who she is. <laughs> I just... I can't tell. I, I can't tell who she is anymore, and... I should be able to tell Frankie. I feel like that's... That's something I should be able to do. It helps. The problem is, I just... I can't imagine... I can't imagine not being with her. Just, we keep... We keep arguing. We're just arguing... all the time. And... London. I mean, you know how much I was looking forward to moving to London, and now everything that I was looking forward to about it just doesn't seem to matter anymore. You seem to be in a bit of a pickle, Mr Bertram. <laughs> yes, I do believe I am. You do need to call her, though. Yeah. Yeah, I do. It will be okay. And what if it's not? Then we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. <laughs> All right. Fine. I should probably go to bed. I believe I have a lot to think about. <laughs> Don't forget your pillow. <laughs> yep, <laughs> we'll remember. Right. <laughs> no, no. Oh, Ed, everything will be all right in the end. And if it is not right, it is not the end. Something your mum always says. Yep, I'm pretty sure she has it embroidered on a pillow somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. <laughs> Thank you. No, no. Good night. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>